When the Twin Towers collapsed on September 11th, 2001, a massive cloud of smoke, dust, and debris released hazardous asbestos fibers and other toxic substances into the air. In the weeks and months that followed this tragedy, an estimated half million people were exposed during rescue, recovery, and cleanup efforts. This dust cloud made up of pulverized concrete, glass, and asbestos settled across Manhattan. The World Trade Center was constructed using an estimated 400 tons of asbestos throughout the structure's insulation, drywall, fireproofing materials, and steel. By 1971, builders stopped using asbestos in the construction of the World Trade Center. By this time, many asbestos products had already been incorporated into both towers. Experts expect a growing number of 9-11 first responders and survivors will be diagnosed with mesothelioma or other asbestos-related illnesses in the years to come. Many of those who assisted in the cleanup and recovery at Ground Zero were not given adequate respiratory equipment to protect against airborne contaminants at the site. Now, these heroes, including firefighters, police officers, debris removal crews, nearby office workers, and lower Manhattan residents will have to live with the lasting health effects of surviving this tragedy. Multiple studies and surveys have been done since the attacks in an attempt to fully understand the long-term health effects of 9-11. Fortunately, the World Trade Center Health Registry tracks the health effects from exposure to 9-11 dust. According to their most recent survey, nearly 16% of respondents have been diagnosed with cancer. For comparison, 8% had been diagnosed with cancer seven years earlier. By 2018, nearly 10,000 people had been diagnosed with a 9-11 related cancer. Nearly 70% of recovery personnel have suffered from lung problems and of the more than 9,000 people who endured intense exposure to the 9-11 dust cloud, nearly half reported experiencing shortness of breath, wheezing, or persistent cough. Unfortunately, these numbers are only expected to grow as research predicts that most survivors will not develop these health complications until 2021 to 2051. Statistics such as these highlight the very real danger 9-11 first responders and survivors are now facing. According to mesothelioma expert Dr. Raja Flores at New York's Mount Sinai Medical Center, the number of mesothelioma cases related to 9-11 dust have been minimal to this point, but they are expected to increase soon. Dr. Flores told us at the Mesothelioma Center, we haven't seen many yet, but we're going to see a very significant rise in cases. It's going to be another 30, 40 years before all this plays out. Asbestos exposure can cause life-threatening illnesses such as mesothelioma and asbestosis. When microscopic fibers are inhaled or ingested, they can become lodged in the body, especially in the soft lining around the lungs and the abdomen. This can result in the development of mesothelioma tumors 20 to 50 years after exposure. However, the highly concentrated levels of asbestos found in the dust and debris at ground zero have already claimed the lives of some survivors and first responders. Because of the increased risks survivors now face, anyone exposed to 9-11 dust should closely monitor their health. Catching symptoms early can result in better treatment options and improved survival rates. Doctors from the World Trade Center Health Program recommend the following health tips to those exposed to 9-11 dust. Get a complete medical evaluation of your respiratory system and digestive system. Undergo a comprehensive mental health evaluation. Follow through with the treatments and medications prescribed by your doctor. Seek multidisciplinary treatment that addresses your physical and mental health. And manage chronic symptoms well, which can control their severity over time. In general, if you're worried about possible asbestos exposure, 
be sure to tell your primary care doctor and monitor your health for early warning signs.